It's a display of the finest contemporary African art. The fair boasts 90 different exhibitions representing artists' projects and galleries from more than 12 countries on the continent. This year there's a special focus on the blossoming East African art scene. We're focusing on East Africa and we like to use the fair as a platform. So the fair kind of plays two roles. It plays both the commercial role for our local art industry and also a cultural role so that other African artists and South African artists that are not necessarily from galleries can come and get exposure. Over the past decade, the FNB Joburg Art Fair has become something of an institution and it plays a vital role in the industry. When it was started, there were no art fairs on the continent. There was absolutely no platform for artists or uh, a market where artists could meet collectors or collectors could meet gallerists. So this has actually become an incredible economy, if you look at it. Uh, over the three days, we sell artworks in the millions uh, to South Africans. Experts say the African art scene is thriving and every year the fair attracts new collectors eager to invest. I think from an art lover's and uh, art collector's point of view, investing in South African art and African art in general is a good investment because African art is growing rapidly as an investment worldwide and it's art that is still very good quality and affordable. About 50% of our buyers are international, the other 50% being local South Africans and Africans from the rest of Africa. Um, there's been a huge interest in African art globally and we've recently seen quite a few galleries opening internationally that are dedicated to South African and African art. So if you are a art lover or looking to invest in Africa's contemporary art scene, then this is the place to be. Chili Shire, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.